When you eat a meal, the food you consume is broken down into simpler molecules so that your body can use it as a fuel to function properly. The pancreas, an organ in your abdomen, produces insulin, a hormone that helps your cell absorb the glucose present in your bloodstream after a meal. Dietary fat, on the other hand, is broken down into fatty acids, which are used by the body for energy and various biological processes such as testosterone production. Excess fatty acids are converted back into triglycerides and stored as body fat. But before we continue, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Excess carbohydrates from a meal are converted into glycogen, which is a chain of glucose molecules that can be stored and used later. Glycogen is mainly stored in the liver and molecules. However, there's a limit how much glycogen a person can store. When this limit is reached, the remaining energy is converted into triglycerides and stored as body fat. If you were stopped eating for 3 days, your body would undergo certain changes. After about 6 to 10 hours of fasting, the remaining glucose in your bloodstream would be used for fuel since there are no nutrients coming in. Your body would start using its glycogen reserves for energy and the pancreas would release glucagon, a hormone that signals the body to release glycogen and fatty acids. In the early stage of fasting, the liver may also produce ketones as an alternative energy source when the fat cells are converted into fatty acids. During the initial 6 hours of fasting, your blood glucose levels will start to rise and then gradually decline, while your ketone levels will gradually increase, especially after approximately 10 hours of fasting. If you are accustomed to eating 3 meals a day or follow a high-carb diet, you may experience a hunger and low energy levels. This hunger is not solely due to lack of calories, but it also influenced by your body's circadian rhythm and the hormone ghrelin, which stimulates your appetite when released. Ghrelin levels will spike around the usual meal times, causing hunger. However, these hunger pangs will subside after 2 hours and your body will adapt to the new meal frequency over time. After fasting for at least 10 hours, your body will increase the production of human growth hormone HGH which is produced by the pituitary gland. HGH plays a significant role in fasting as it is associated with muscle repair, exercise performance, immune function, and recovery from injuries. However, it is important to note that fasting alone is unlikely to lead to muscle growth without sufficient nutrients. During fasting, human growth hormone HGH is believed to play a role in preserving muscle mass by stimulating metabolic processes like protein synthesis and muscle tissue repair. Research suggests that the longer you fast, the more HGH your body produces. For example, a study found that fasting for just 2 days increased HGH production by 5 times. Around 12 to 16 hours into fasting, your body continues to deplete its glycogen stores and relies more on ketone bodies for energy. During this time, you may feel colder as your body temperature decreases due to the absence of food digestion. Studies on fasting during Ramadan, where people fast from dawn to sunset daily for a month, have shown various benefits. These include improved weight management, digestion, and cholesterol levels. Fasting has also been associated with a significant increase in inflammation markers such as homocysteine, C-reactive protein CRP, and a total cholesterol HDL ratio. Lowering inflammation is generally desirable for overall health and short-term fasting can help achieve that. After about 18 hours of fasting, your body becomes more reliant on fatty acids and ketone production accelerates. Inflammation decreases significantly during this time. There is a substantial increase in HGH and brain-derived neurotrophic factor BDNF. Both HGH and BDNF promote growth of new neurons and synapses in the brain, enhancing communication and improving learning and memory capacity. Additionally, BDNF helps existing brain neurons survive for longer. Around 16 to 18 hours of fasting, autophagy, an auto-recycling process, kicks in. During autophagy, your body starts recycling damaged proteins, bacteria, and dysfunctional cells for energy. This process acts as a cleaning mechanism for the body has a therapeutic benefits for lifespan, aging, and immunity. Fasting incorporates conditions such as caloric restriction, starvation, increased levels of HGH and BDNF, all of which are known to increase the rate of autophagy. Long-term fasting for a week or longer can harm the immune system due to malnutrition. However, after fasting for 24 to 32 hours, your body should have depleted its glycogen stores and rely solely on its fat stores for energy. This results in a significant increase in circulating free fatty acids, especially in men. Certain organs, like the brain, still require glucose to function, so the body utilizes triglycerides from the fat stores by breaking them into glycerol and free fatty acids. 
free fatty acids are used for immediate energy, while glycerol can be sent to the liver to be converted into glucose through gluconeogenesis, providing glucose for the brain and other glucose-dependent functions. During the initial phase of fasting, your body can temporarily supply the brain with glucose without breaking down muscle tissue. Contrary to popular belief, after 24 hours of fasting, your body reduces its protein breakdown rate significantly to preserve muscle. However, if you fast for extended periods, especially if you're already lean, you may experience muscle loss as your body converts protein into glucose through gluconeogenesis. Muscle loss typically becomes concerned after approximately 3 days of fasting when your body relies primarily fat stores for energy. The increase in human growth hormone HGH production during fasting helps with fat loss and muscle preservation during the initial days of fasting. After 24 to 30 hours of fasting, you may experience weight loss primarily due to water loss from depleting carbohydrates and some fat loss. However, this fat loss is not permanent and overindulging in food can lead to weight regain. Continuing fast for 48 hours has been shown to provide additional benefits for mood, mental clarity, and focus. Studies have demonstrated that fasting for 2-7 to seven days can help treat depression with patients reporting improvements in mood, alertness, and tranquility. However, if you're new to fasting, you may experience negative effects such as headaches, low energy levels, body aches, and digestive issues. These drawbacks tend to improve as you adapt fasting. After about 3 days of fasting, enhanced immunity, autophagy, and reduced inflammation continue at a deeper level. There is evidence that the body starts producing hematopoietic stem cells, which can help regenerate various types of cells throughout the body. However, fasting for longer periods become increasingly challenging and may lead to muscle breakdown, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, and digestive issues. Most people find fasting for 3 complete days extremely difficult without medical supervision. Observations from hunger strikes and controlled clinical settings show that humans can survive several months without eating. However, for most people, fasting for 3 days becomes point where the cons outweigh the pros. After 72 hours, the body is more likely to break down muscle tissue and may lead to nutrient deficiencies and digestive issues. Research observing 41-year-old men fasting for 40 days suggests that fasting for 3 days may be better than fasting for a longer duration. Ketone production is higher during the initial days of fasting and after the 5th day, ketone levels become more neutralized. The rate of weight loss also slows down after the initial days. This indicates that the most significant benefits of ketosis occur during the first few days, ensuring that weight loss primarily comes from stored fat rather than muscle mass. By the third day of fasting, indicators such as decreased glutamine concentration in skeletal muscles by 34% and negative potassium and nitrogen balances suggest that the body may resort to breaking down muscle tissue for fuel. Glutamine is essential for maintaining and fueling lean muscle mass and when its levels drop, muscle breakdown increases relative to muscle protein synthesis. Potassium deficiency can lead to muscle weakness and cramping while nitrogen imbalances indicates protein loss and muscle breakdown. In conclusion, fasting for 16 hours to 3 days is a reasonable duration to strive for depending on your fasting experience. The exact duration can vary based on individual factors and prior fasting experience. Fasting for 3 days can be an ideal sweet spot that provides advantages while outweighing the drawbacks. In this duration, the body can experience cleansing, fat loss, and improvements in body composition and overall health. Scientific research has shown a growing interest in fasting for extended periods, particularly regarding disease reversal, cancer risk, and neurological disorders in humans. However, based on scientific evidence, it's clear that fasting goes beyond weight management and body composition improvements. It's also play a role in maintaining a healthy brain and can significantly decrease inflammation markers associated with various diseases throughout the body. Fasting has shown promising results in terms of potential therapeutic benefits, but it is crucial to approach fasting with caution and seek medical advice, especially when considering extended fasting periods or if you have any underlying health conditions. Each individual's response to fasting can vary and it's essential to prioritize overall well-being and listen to your body's signals during the fasting process. And that's it! Thank you for watching this video! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.